is a lot to take in, but to us, to us, it is everything. Now I see you've met my fellow gatherers. Good, very good. I'm called Kenmei. Now to your eyes, this may look like a room filled with old junk, so allow me to clarify. Some of it's new junk. <laughs> we humbly call ourselves the gatherers because we search the galaxy for ancient relics, forgotten places, abandoned outposts, battle-ravaged planets, and what we find, we bring here. So where a stormtrooper might see worthless clutter, those who know see priceless history. And in these times, preserving our past <laughs> may just ensure a future. Yes? Yes? Yes. 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 Now, my friends, by this point, you've all heard the stories of Luke Skywalker. We hear there is another. A new Jedi. Who knows her name? Ray. Ray, yes. And what Ray is leading is the spark of hope we have all been waiting for. And that, my friends, is why we're here today. To look ahead. To the future. Lightsaber has been wielded by some of our greatest heroes and our darkest enemies. It is elegant, enigmatic. To build a lightsaber is an art. Now, the saber is a reflection of the building, with the force flowing between them. And today, you will feel that connection. Babbling, let's get busy. We start with perhaps the most important aspect of the lightsaber the Kyber crystal, able to focus the energy of the Force, to magnify it. Now, some say that the Kyber crystal is the heart of the lightsaber. The color of the crystal reveals the color of the blade. Now, this, this you may already know from some of the great Jedi in our history. A blue crystal such as the one wielded by the great master Obi-Wan Kenobi and his apprentice, Anakin Skywalker, and, of course, Rey. Green, the crystal that called to Qui-Gon Jinn, Ahsoka Tano, Master Yoda himself, and Luke Skywalker. The violet crystal, rare and beautiful, like the blade wielded by Mace Wind. Some who call this the color of power and ambition, the crystal of Darth Maul, Asajj Ventress, Darth Vader, and now Kylo Ren. But these are the stories of the past, and we are here for you, our future. You will now choose your Kylo crystals. My friends, close your eyes. What color do you see in your mind? Choose your crystal, and know that it is equally likely that your crystal is choosing you. Now open your eyes and take your crystal. Well done. Well done indeed. You will now join that crystal to the aspects of lightsaber design. You chose moments ago on the other side of the workshop floor. One important detail, so listen very closely. Make sure the crystal is resting on the tiny green tray at the top left of the building station. Good. There we go. Now you will start work on your hilt. This is the foundation of your lightsaber, your center of control, and the thing that keeps your hand from disintegrating. In these boxes are the aspects of the design you've already selected. You'll find a chassis, activation plates, grip, emitter, and pommel cap. Now remember, building a lightsaber is a very personal journey. Just as you selected your crystal, you will now choose each and all aspects of design that make your saber unique. Should you have questions or if you face obstacles, the gatherers are here to help, and all you need to do is ask. Now, let's build. Hello, travelers. 
the top does have a spring. So what you want to do is take your dark crystal, place it towards the center of that spring, and push it up and down. This will be the hardest part in the shop when you need to take it off. This is the hard part. Mix and match the pieces, pick one pair or the other. And now everything is color coded so you can match up the blue square on the piece with the blue square on the chest. Would you like some help? Oh, there you go. I'm just going to double check. Uh, Alright, so we're going to jump over to number five. We're going to choose one of the two sets of action pieces. Now, on these plates, one's going to have a blue square, one will have a red square. You want to match those colors up to the corresponding color on the chest. So it's going to cover right on top of blue, and red will cover right on top of red. They both look like it. Two out of the four sleeves. Yeah, just let me let you know that uh, there's a little lip right here. There's threads under there. So it's going to get pushed towards the switch and tighten. Go ahead and switch your sleeves up. Beautiful spark check complete. We're going to move back over to column one and two. We're going to choose two of the four. Try that one more time. This one's going to go at the bottom, this one's going to go at the top. Now, when we place these on our chassis, we want the sticker rim facing the activation plate, and then you're going to squeeze and twist the tight. Okay, so wait, wait. this goes on here, right? It could go bottom or top, uh, but we want the other, the other side facing. And now squeeze and twist in opposite directions to tighten. Okay. And now to complete our help, we can move to number four. That'll be that in the spot. Easy way to put that on. If you have your help upside down, and let gravity help you. Also notice that there's a red and a blue square. So you want to match the red square to the red square and the blue square to the red square. Then you snap on either side. Oh, no, all right, what do we think of this design? Do we like these pieces? Perfect. I'm going to do a quick double check here. All right. When Kembe says activate, we'll switch up. We'll switch and then right back down and deactivate All right. Congratulations. That was a great build for me. Slide up. Well done. Well done, my friends. We've completed our hills. Now, trust us. Leave them where they lie. Take a deep breath and move back to the outer walls of the workshop. Gatherers, take over. The gatherers are now stabilizing your chosen Christians and the completed books of these saints for their very first activation. It's the one thing you don't do coming out of the starting gate because you must be trained, but my friends, your time is coming. Now, we move ahead to the final aspect of our video. Many parts over now. Join the arm. Yes, let us It begins. It is time. Your journey. Master Yoda, it is indeed time to take that first step. We've reached the final stage. The bond between Saber and Builder is about to be forged. In a moment, you will come forward, place your hand upon the hilt of your completed lightsaber, and when I give the word, you will for the first time activate your blades. Are you ready? Yes. Step forward, and on my mark, activate. Raise your sabers. You have built a lightsaber. Like the Jedi and the Sith that have come before you, you two can change the galaxy. Remember, 
It only takes a spark. And now, my friends, if you would be kind enough to momentarily deep and lower your blades. Ah! Complete your lightsaber is. Like your way it can, but lead you it cannot. Your journey, you both will begin. May the force be with you. Thank you, Master Yoda. My friends, in your hands you hold remarkable power. And remarkable power shouldn't be dropped on the floor. <laughs> in order to preserve what you have so carefully created, we are pleased to grant you a saber sheath as you depart the chamber. Now, a time together is at an end, but your journey is just beginning. Time to make your mark on the galaxy. And remember, you are as unique and as extraordinary as the blade you have forged. And perhaps next time we shall tell your stories. Raise and activate your lightsabers. May the spires keep you, my friends, through that doorway. Farewell.